And, and we, some of the, one of the, a number of things that came out of our meeting yesterday was the fact that, you know, we were entertaining a two-year levy, three-year levy, four-year levy, five-year levy. Everybody had an opinion on that. Um, what we're saddled with as Board of County Commissioners is <clears throat> taking the long-range look at how are you going to pay for, for the jail, how are you going to pay for, for law enforcement. Um, and we're saddled with, with a dilemma here, and I'll put it into, I'll put it into simple terms with my own family, as if, I'm, as if I, my refrigerator's empty and my cupboards are empty, but my family says, Dad, you've got 30 bucks in your pocket, and we want pizza today. And we want pizza, and we don't care what, about the future. Well, we have to look at the future. So I go buy them pizza, and my obligation as a father is to figure out how to fill that refrigerator, fill those cupboards for the long haul and to bridge to when I get that next job, or if I lose my job, I don't want to spend it all down to nothing because I don't know when the next money's coming in. Um, Commissioner Hare mentioned a, a whole bunch of things that are in the wind as far as ONC lawsuits and so on and so forth that, that the county's actively involved in with other counties and as a member of the state of Oregon. Um, I asked, one of the things I asked at yesterday's meeting was when, when does that come, out, come about? If we win the ONC lawsuit, does that mean that on, on June 15th of 2019, we get a check in the mail for $11 million because that's what they owed us all along? Nobody can answer that. So when we're asked to build a bridge into the future that we don't know what the future is, we've got a pretty good idea that maybe we've got as good a chance now of winning those, uh, those lawsuits on the, on the federal level. We've got a better chance now than we did two and a half months ago. So if I enter the timeline in without getting political. But, but the, the problem that we're having right now is we're asked to build a bridge for law enforcement. We, a proposal was brought to us from, from Sheriff Daniels, um, a very comprehensive proposal. It was very specific as where, thing, where the money was going to go, how he was going to spend it. And it also had in there a, uh, a, uh, the big question that comes up is, what about ISF? That's Internal Service Fund. And basically, I think uh, Ms. Castanelli made a comment at one of the other meetings that the reason, the reason we, the commissioners want this to be put on the ballot and pass is because they're going to pad their pocket because they get money out of the ISF. The Board of County Commissioners, we have removed our salaries and anything involved with our salaries out of the ISF, out of the internal service fund. We're removing that out. So that's going to lower that fund down a little bit and it helps everybody countywide, department-wide. So we can't pad our pockets out of any any decision you, you all make about this this levy but I think it's you know one of the things is is here we go again do we keep you from voting on something again and I think Mr. Seligman has said at every meeting you know don't you listen because it's been on the ballot been on the ballot don't you know that people don't want that don't want taxes they just don't want it I says I but then again I go back out to the public and they say I couldn't vote for a dollar forty but if it's under a dollar I can pull that I can see that. So, you know, in an effort to move the needle from no to yes, you know, they maybe they lowered it down. I don't know what the result of that's going to be, but I don't think I deem to deny anybody the opportunity to weigh in their own personal views and say they want that or they can afford that or they can't afford that. You know, you're going to get yeses and nos, and I don't know what the outcome is going to be. You know, I'm looking at the ballot, and I'm thinking it's getting pretty crowded. But you know what? There's, I don't want to bring you this in the 11th hour to the public, and I know Mr. Seligman's back there taping this because I, when I was running for office, I guarantee you, they said, are you going to put a levy on the ballot? And I said, no. Does that make me a liar? No, that makes me a person that uh, once I see different things, I can change my mind. I can change my mind as a father. I can change my mind as a politician. I, that's the freedom in America. When I see different things and different uh, facts and figures and actual facts and figures, and I see them in, in, in cold, hard terms, and there's a decision to make, and yeah, I can change my mind. And if you don't think you can change your mind without being called a liar in America, I don't think maybe Costa Rica wouldn't be a bad place to go. So there's just something to remember. You know, we're going to be, you know, we're going to have a lot of uh, rhetoric between now and then, um, but I want you to be rest assured. If it's, it's here again, I want to know what you have to say. And the one way I can tell without everybody all jamming into this room and raising their hands, and we count hands, is to go to the ballot. That's the way it works. We'll go to the ballot. If it fails, it fa fails, and we'll deal with whatever happens. Up This board up here, we'll deal with it. You can guarantee that. So we're not going anywhere. But uh, I, I think that the sheriff has a good proposal out there, and it's the, the right now today is do we put it on the ballot as it's written at five years? 
Um, I'm not seeing anything. I didn't hear anything yesterday. I heard some really good ideas. Mr. Hunker had some ideas. You know, there was a lot of ideas, and we're going to carry that on. We're not done with these talks. In fact, I have a, a meeting with Mr. Hunker following this meeting. But in my mind, the five years is so far, that's the bridge we're going to have to build to maybe those ONC, ONC uh, lawsuits coming up pan out. But uh, maybe they don't. But five years to me, you know, I, you know and I, I'm a, a planner because I was in business for a long time and I didn't work week to week. I had my business plan out there for two and three years in advance sometimes, but I needed to know that my supplier was gonna be there three years from now to support me and that my employees were gonna be there to support me and a lot of other things. I can't plan year to year, week to week, day to day because it doesn't work that way in real life. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in favor of this and put it, uh, putting it on the ballot and then it's up to you whether you're in favor of it. I just, I think it's important uh, this commissioner is going to vote to put it out to you and then I'm going to just painfully wait to see what you say in May and then we'll deal with whatever the outcome of that is. Okay? I think one of the